Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom filtered view using Action in AppSheet. Alright, so we have a sample application here. So this is a work order as and as you can see, this is uh, mixed with pending and completed. I would like to create a buttons wherein when, once I click, it will show me the completed or the pending. So without creating a slice, we can use an action to create a custom filtered view. Let's get started. All right. So this is the uh, this is the uh, sample app, and the first thing we, we need to do is to create an action. All right. So the action, and we need to target this view. So we need to create an action that goes to this particular view, which is the work order. All right, so let's create an action, new action, and let's create a new action here. All right, so I'm going to name this action, let's say this is the pending, and then select, go to another view within this app, and then we need to target this view. So the name of the view is work order, all right? this so I'm going to create link to view sorry link to filtered view so the name of the view is work order so and then you can place your filter conditions here so I would like to say which is status is equals to pending all right and then I can just uh, make this, for example, do any filter here. Let's say for this, I'm going to use this action. Okay. And let's make it as primary. And in the behavior section here, I would like to place a condition. Context. view type is not equals to detail all right so the reason for that is since this is display as primary view i would uh, i don't like to show that in in a detail view so that's the purpose of that okay and then i'm going to create a second action uh, let's say i'm going to to view the this is now completed all right so i will just change this into so you can create uh, your personal or your customized filter conditions in this all right so then i would like to duplicate this as well and let's say all okay so if you would like to have a filter for all all you have to do is just link to filter view or link to view work order. All right. So in case if you would like, by the way, to change this, uh, the interface of AppSheet, someone comments in the, in the comment section that the AppSheet changed the interface since long time since a year by the way you can still go back there and use the old interface yeah all right let's see if it's uh working all right so as you can see here we have this view if i would like to click the pending it shows me the pending if I would like to click the completed, it shows me the completed. And if I would like to click just the all, it shows me the all, all, all rows, right? So in this way, you don't need to create a slice and you don't need also to go in this particular here, uh, since AppSheet has a built-in function to, to filter, all you have to do is just by clicking these actions and it will give you the filter accordingly all right so if you learn something in this video don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any questions thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video